Ugh. Let's get it now. Team Salveto. This game is not suitable for children. Doki, doki. And here they all are. Look how happy Sayori is now. Happy again, like she should be. And then Yuri, like... Yeah, I still don't like Yuri. Uh, Minasuki, she's the best. And then Monica with a heart pin, dude. She's got a heart pin. Look at that. Okay. Look how nobody's skirt is like steel. Everybody's skirt is like twirling and bouncing. So we do new game here. New game. We don't have to type a name in again. We don't have to do anything else. We just start a new game. That's it. Hey! So I can skip this time. I love it, dude. Skip is the best thing ever. Just skip the whole game. Whoa. So skip like crazy. This is the best thing. So this time we have to go for Yuri, you guys. So we gotta write poetry that appeals to Yuri to get two Yuri cutscenes. Select Yuri will help you with preparations for the... Uh, I wasn't ready for that. So let's save it in case we mess it up. But we sh I've never tried to get Yuri, I don't think. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? So we gotta get Yuri stuff, you guys. Let's get Yuri stuff. Um, time for Duel Links, maybe? Shh. <laughs> I gotta get the right ending. Gotta get the right... Go fast, Sanic. Yeah, dude, that's so beautiful. I love that it went that fast. I. That's amazing. So we gotta get big words, right? For, um... For, uh... For um, Yuri. Yuri's got the easiest ones because, I mean, oh, wait, hold on. What's this one gonna be? Waterfall? No shit. All right, imagination. Yeah, effulgent. Uh, peaceful. Shit. Analysis. Intellectual. Infallible. <laughs> Defeat. Oh wow, that was two of them. I got. I got. There was. That was one and two. I got you, fam. <laughs> Is Duel back up, actually, though? I do need to at least open it so I can uh, auto-duel. I completely forgot I was wanting to do that earlier, you know? Like, that cucks me. So let me at least try to get it open so I can auto-duel. So I can, uh, you know, keep my keep my boy leveling up, you know what I'm saying? Vitality, that's a good one. That's not in here. Death. Death is, oh, that's sad. Crimson, that's easy. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links! Hold on, there's some, there's some sounds gotta be turned down, you guys. Initiate the link. Electricity, extraordinary, incapable. Uh, broken? Shit. This is too hard. Uncanny? Alright, I think that was mostly for Yuri, right? That had to be more Yuri than anybody else. No skip. Skip it all. Skip it all, skip it all, skip it all. Skip it all. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes, our eyes meet for a split second. <laughs> but that only makes her hide her face deeper in a book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I, I just happened to buy two of them. Oh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Mac Markov. Markov, yeah. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front of the cover. On the front cover. Alright, I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she, choo what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so th that dark turn came out of nowhere. <laughs> Yuri sound giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Jay? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related 
Then when suddenly you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Huh. That's... well, that's true. In fact, it, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put in my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just, well, tell me, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly a bad thing, well, maybe a little maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry, I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then I hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to open the book. Ah, uh, I guess this makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. Uh. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after that and flips it to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth from Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. <laughs> yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished, finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue to read the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses a lot of things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Jay, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, that's so embarrassing that you think that- Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh, uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? I, okay, everyone. <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Oh, it's not. It's fine. <laughs> Yuri releases her hand from the book, ca causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer if I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have to... I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm, in that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun... It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. <laughs> in that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters on your own time. Alright, I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem lesson? I can skip again. Thank God. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion. Fair, whatever. I can't skip this part? Come on, dude. I'm not reading it, though. Ends up covering her whole face. I, uh, he's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Do I have to read this part? Can I just skip it again? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience? 
fourth time playing the entire game. This is indeed my fourth time. Kiss Yuri. Kiss Yuri, not reading skills. No, I don't want to read. I don't want to read Yuri's thing, you guys. Can I just skip it all? There we go. Thank God. Skip. Thank God. Get me out of here. It, it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah, if anything, I could probably... Think, you think so? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing best for you, Jay. For me. Me, too. Ha! <laughs> wow, Skipper. Why play it again? <laughs> uh, what? Nasuki's the best. Do not take this club seriously and go home. What? Harsh. What do you expect me to believe you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Look how mean she is, dude. She's the best. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud, if you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. <laughs> you'll be you'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. God, she's so... <laughs> well, it's each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Oh, God. What does the song say? Men only like bad girls? <laughs> Why do good? You guys, update looks great. Does it? I haven't seen it yet. Let me see. For honor, they fight mighty warriors of the Blade Unite. Oh, is the new box out? Blades of the Spirit. Oh, what is this? It's telling me the. Tell me about the same box right now. Tell me about Blades of the Spirit. Why is it telling me about Blades of the Spirit? That's weird. Whatever. I'm in here now, y'all. Let me uh. Let me start auto dueling these people. And then keep playing the game. Who should my next poem go to? Sayori. Duh. All right. Skip Sayori. Skip. 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 Monica. Skip, 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 skip. Great job, Jay. I'm not sure I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone safe. <laughs> well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Siori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging, uh, both allowing people to get... Uh, I'm sure... Okay, I don't know. I can skip again. Thank God. Skip it all. Skip it all. Oh, they fight now. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to pick now. Oh, God. This is gonna be pretty good, right? We gotta help Yuri this time. Asuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri, eh... You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Nasuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Ugh. But Nasuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Suki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? <laughs> Suki clenches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Uh, um, something. Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. <laughs> Without warning, Nasuki snatches up her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Nasuki, she really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach and sit in an adjacent chair. Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone now have gotten... How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Jay. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you as part of this club now. Typo, have you a part of this club now? Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, the one thing that Nasuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, <laughs> what thing did Nasuki say? <laughs> These boobies. Oh, uh, um... Well, never mind that. I I'm going to make some tea. Uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Hi, but they're all 18 somehow, huh? 
Stay ready to join. <laughs> oh lord. Insight, yeah, boy. Na 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 insight, hopeless. No, we're gonna climax, climax. You know what a climax? Contamination too, and then agonizing. Yep. Then we're gonna go with some frightening, frightening. Then the ocean. Holy crap, that's a Yori. Intellectual though. The scars, oh crap, that's Sayori too. Landscape, that's not Sayori, that's our other girl. Existence, that's her too. Holy crap, I am so smart. Lucky Papa Kawaii, music play, desire, 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 desire. Yeah, boy, anxiety, whistle, warm. Swimsuit, time, 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 and something else. But what will the other word be? I think disarray, yep, I'm smart and empty is Sayori. Holy crap, gotta be more careful. Then we're gonna go with some unstable, unstable. That that, that is right. I like. Oh, it stopped. Then the next word will be something else. Good nightgown, nightgown. Actually, that's my girl Nasuki. Rip, rip. Oh no, rip. But then we go back to our other lady, Yuri Inferno. Also something for Yuri Entropy and after Nash. Also, one last word for her, incongruent electricity, both I think work, let's see, here we go, electricity works, nice. I opened 10, 10 packs in the lottery and you got nothing, rip, burning Charmander, I opened a lot, and I, I got some stuff, but not anything good. Another day passes, let's go, skip it, skip it, skip it. Uh, she does the cookie thing here, where she tries to play me about the cookie, and then I eat some M&Ms, okay, I gotta eat some pretzel M&Ms, because they're delicious. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Huh? I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh no, I was kind of just waiting for you. Oh, if that's the case. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? No, not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Here he hands me a pitcher of water and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking and mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you? Where are you two off to? Eh, we're just, Yuri was going to make some tea, so I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one person job, isn't it? That's Monica. Please mind your own business for once. Ha, what? Savage, dude. I didn't know Yuri got savage like that. Oh my God, what is going on? No. <laughs> or do you, <laughs> Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Jay in club activities? Oh my god. Uh, uh, <laughs> my mouth gapes. I I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Then let's go, Jay. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. What the hell, dude? Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Jay, how could you even... How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? I really shouldn't be nice to you. You're a freak, and I don't like you. But, you know, we gotta do this. Timmy, what's up, homie? What is this? <laughs> this is a... This is adult games, Timmy, alright? I don't know if you're old enough to see this, bro. Okay? Like, um... Only grown-ups should be watching this game. Like, uh... <laughs> No, how old is Timmy? Timmy's got to be at least 30, right? I mean, world champions have a requirement, age of like 30, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Jay, I could say the same thing. What are you talking about? Okay, uh, so I don't, I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't like Yuri at all. But you know, we're gonna get her back here, because, besides, this game is so good because it it allows me a chance to to show off my top tier, top of the line, number one in the world voice acting skills. So you know. You're world champion of doings, I'm the world champion voice actor, all right? Let's just leave it at that, all right? Because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. 
Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can't always hide them away, but you always amplify things in your head. Your mind, turn, your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Uh, n no, wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Um, Yuri lifts her head. Che, I really like being friends with you. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best to help. I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, ah uh, yeah, shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill the water pitcher up, we return to the classroom. Uh, you already said to pick Yuri. It's in the vod. No, Yuri is terrible. Never pick Yuri unless you're trying to get the good ending and you have to for that. Jay, do you like oolong tea? Ah uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Oh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you notice. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyway. <laughs> That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Jay. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Where's that? I can't see it. Oh, I don't have my follow on. Rip. I didn't see the new follower, you guys. It was a Saika Wow. Thanks for the follow, homie. Appreciate it very much. Welcome to the Jay Arabian Nights. <laughs> uh, I watch as Yuri... I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Jay, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly likely be it's most likely because of my... Uh, my, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. Her posture, dude. She's lying, dude. My wife has the same back problem, and it's not from her reading posture. Let me just say that right now. All right. Come on. That's why she sucks, because she's a liar. That's why That's why Nasuki's way better than her, okay? Nasuki wouldn't have lied to me like that. She would have just told me what was going on, all right? Just saying. <laughs> I watched you for the good ending, LOL. Fair enough. <laughs> Getting used. Yuri, he tastes you. Blah! He's doing it for the viewers. What? <laughs> posture. She's, she gets freaky. Oh god, she does get really weird. <laughs> I retrieved I retrieve the book from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we resume reading the reading position uh, as last time, each holding a book. Um, ex except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, hand that's not include, holding the book up, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book for, to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudged on the pages. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder time reading, but as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Che... Sorry... 
I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that's... Well, y you were just hoping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean, not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. I, I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that she, <laughs> that she, that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breast. I raise my arm. Ah. Like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I, I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Whoa. That was pretty quick. I think Psycho Monica is too jealous and she can't handle it. Look, what the hell? This kid has two meter dragons help. What the hell? Did he really put two meter? Oh, wait, is he playing Life Cost Zero? Oh, I meant she gets freaky in the bedroom. That explains the back pain. Oh, blaming poor baby girl for pro tag fault. Sick meme. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> what what round are you on the dual thing? What are you talking about? What dual thing? Uh, Burning Charmander. Okay, everyone. Oh. Uh. Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Jay, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? H yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. Spell is abruptly is abruptly broken. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much of a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. <laughs> uh, I know you're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, but I don't know what you mean by the round thing. What do you mean by the round thing? Or wait, you're talking about the dice event? I completed round five tonight before I switched over to this. I did all five rounds. So we gotta go with Yuri first because we have to. Um, let's see what you've written for today. Uh, Yuri stares at Poem with a surprise expression on her face. Do you like it? Jay, this one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer I offer that patience to her. Yeah, just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself, and besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's if it's with you, if it's with me, boys, the raccoon. I'm not reading this poem. I don't care. I'm not reading it. I don't want to. I've already read it. It's crap. I don't want to read it. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem's about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? B because they're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Jay? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everybody has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities, even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. And after all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Uh, I might as well be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Writing, listening. There really aren't many people like you, Jay. But that's exaggerating a little bit. It's just how I feel. Oh, it's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing, but now I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling, and you're to thank for that. It's it's nothing, really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. Uh, for just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. All right, let's go back to our baby girl, Nasuki. Hmm. Well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. Well, that's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Eh, what do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's it's going just to sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Zuki stops, sh sh stops short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. Eh, 
you're not you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What, what are you talking about? And keep your voice down. <laughs> you know Yuri would love this kind of this angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I I mean uh, looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though <laughs> what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Nasugi shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Nasuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Dude, what are you talking about? That's the only that's the only character we care about. Oh my god. 60 packs open is still none. Oh my god, rip. Yeah, I got I got two mass beasts or whatever, but I didn't care about getting mass beasts, so I'm not really care about that. Let's go with see over here. Is this the day she's sad? Or this isn't the sad day, it's tomorrow she's sad, I think. Whatever, we're gonna skip it all. Alright, we're gonna stop skip. Skip, 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 skip. Skip it all. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is much better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm, I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think that her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I notice that too, or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of, side, head of hers. I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just mean that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Eh? You completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Ha, ah, Monica is so mean. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. Monica's so jealous. It's a hunch, but, well, there's not, well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? No. You're, you're, you're a jerk. And I don't like you because you're a jerk. I don't remember what happened today. Younger OMG. Oh, what did I just do? Now go back. Hurry up, where's my skip? There's my skip. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, so we're, we're here again. Let's save it. Is this the last poem, or do we gotta do another poem? I don't remember. Is this the poem that doesn't matter anymore, or does this poem matter? I can't remember. Uh, what's the good word, you guys? I don't remember. Captive? Climax? Uh, secretive? Tears? No, crap. Uh, I love you. Maybe like more. Yeah. Um, infinite, infinite, infinite. Heaven sent. That's a big word. Effulgent. There we go. Insight. Uh, pleasure. Yes. Extraordinary. No, that's her. Crap. Horror. Entropy. Analysis. Dark. Oh, okay. Uh, fantasy. Shit. Mm, shopping. Whisper. Destiny. Uh, Aftermath, uh, Time, Flea, Tragedy, oh crap, Memories, oh crap. Yeah. Nice skip, so this is the day that Siori is sad. So this day is Siori sad, I think she goes home early today, right? I think. Love you. Vagabond. I had a Vagabond before I turned my game off earlier. Now I don't have it. What the hell? That's weird. Whatever. Let me just set an auto duel. I glance around the room. Uh, suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. <laughs> I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How how were you even able to tell I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. I, I didn't do anything creepy like that. 
In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those willing to share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share with what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little bit off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something's happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. <laughs> so sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't... I just... I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sari and I have been have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Oh, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Jay, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Uh, so you think there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Siori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head, and she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too, and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I guess. But you don't need to put you don't need to put it that way. We were just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold, even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware... May uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. The, that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. <laughs> that's that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. No, why'd you guys say no? What happened? What'd you guys say no to? I don't understand. Okay, everyone. Uh, after some time passes, oh, I can skip this part. Good. Skip the hell out of that. Uh, so we go Yuri first, I guess. Jay, your writing has only improved these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really, I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something you've never even shared with him. It's kind of a shame, maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Jay, during lunchtime I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have a book I always have books and books with me you could say I really enjoy reading well that's one way to put it anyway but books are so full of amazing and inspiring people people you want to fall in love with people you just know would make a really good friend cheerful people who always put a smile on your face or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life so when you look at it that way I'm surrounded by friends every day you know and those friends don't laugh at me, they don't tease me for spacing out all the time, they don't make fun of my body type, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Jay. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write, but it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing this time, but I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Jay. I speak too slowly. I second-guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things, but every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others, but that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. 
I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends, and I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let's get it. Let me get it for you. Ghost Hunter Light Part 2. The angels of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, the blue green light flickers. Uh, the steps in the street light, I gasp and drop my... Oh, wait, hold on. What? This is different. In the distance, a blue, a blue green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows, closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the streetlight, I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers, my heart pounds, he raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand, the flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Dude, did I cure her of her insanity? Is that what that poem represents? What the hell? <laughs> Finish the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri, but instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me, so thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can, um, the poem is, once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that... I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah, don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on to Monica before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. I got her poem, I got her poem. Misuki, she's gonna be mad. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. You didn't even. Next! Oh, my girl is so mean to me, dude. Hi, Jay. No, don't talk to me. Your style's gotten so refined, Jay. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in this whole year. Not sure, not sure how you did it, but it's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. <laughs> You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. That's... <laughs> It's awfully suspicious, you know, spending time with her in the club room every day, reading that edgy novel with her. Well, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know? All right, all right, I get you. Just be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up, so if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry if I, did, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? No, I don't care about your poem. You suck. No one likes Monica because she sucks. Hmm, it's nice, I guess. Come on, I gotta tell you. Well, you don't need to worry what I think. After all, you wrote the smells, then you probably Yuri. Okay, yeah, I already know this. So, ah, oh, it's rough. Rough, 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 dude. So this is it. After this, you guys, it's gonna be the hardest part because I see what I have to do next. And it's gonna suck. So we're gonna help Yuri. Well, I'll probably most help help out from you. Me? Uh, are you serious? Why would you, Masuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, I was just saying. Uh, so you'll be helping Yuri then, Jay? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things, so I think your assistance would be very useful. That's great to hear. Masuki, will you be able to handle the baking by yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell. 
Everyone's telling Nasuki's feeling a little sour, so is that everything we need to get over? Okay, so Yuri tries to make Nasuki feel better, and I don't care about that, so skip. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. Skip it until Yuri wants to come over to the house, and that's gonna be weird because Yuri's gonna suck my blood, and that's fucking weird, dude. Yuri's weird. She's so weird, I don't like her. I don't like Yuri, she's too weird for me, but you know, it is what it is. I realize I don't have any left contacting this weekend. Oh yeah, here's my number. Whatever, leave me alone. I thought I heard Yandir, to be honest. Yandir, which one is that? I forget which one that means. I know the Sunadir one is the Nasuki, but what's the Yandir one? I forgot which one that means. Yandir or whatever, however you say that word. I forgot what that one means. I can't believe this, dude. I got my girl coming over. Oh wait, no. What is this? I have to go see Seori now, and I'm not gonna watch it again, you guys. I'm not gonna read it. I'm not. I really don't want, listening to the music is enough to make me feel sad. It's a good soundtrack in this game, dude. Really good soundtrack. As I approach my house, I see some. I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri, uh, thank, thank goodness, you're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here, but I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I'd known, I would have. I would have reassured you and hurried, hurried more on the way home. Oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be it should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I can't even get two points. We talking about Brain Charmander. Are you like going in on these heists? Are you going in on these heists over and over? <laughs> Charmander rip. Uh. <laughs> I take Yuri to my room. Whoa. First thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. I would be really embarrassed if my room would be a mess when you came over. Hmm. Well, uh, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. <laughs> that would be even more embarrassing. Wait. Don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. She starts going through my desk drawers, dude. Uh, if like, if I ever had a girl come in my room and just start trying to open my shit and look in it, I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? Get out of there. Well, uh, I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's it's fine, it's fine. I let go, she puts both her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, so, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. I don't care about the boring part. I don't care. We're gonna do, we're gonna cut ribbons and we're gonna do other stuff, whatever. Uh... Uh, makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. No need. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. Uh, oh yeah, her candles and her aromatherapy. Look at all this stuff, dude. I know it, Yuri. I know it. Lick her fingers. Yeah, I'm not gonna lick her fingers, dude. Actually, we do lick her fingers, don't we? Because we're stupid. This guy's an idiot. See, this obviously isn't me. I'm not. I should name him Jay. Anytime that I want to try and, and use the you get the Yuri cutscene, I should just change the whole name to. Not Jay, because I would never do that. Like, if some girl licked blood off my finger, like, that's that's weird as hell. And I wouldn't lick her finger back to make her feel, like, not awkward. Because she should feel awkward, because she's weird. That's, like, only a freak licks, fing licks a finger. Uh, so here it goes. Here it goes. This is it. You guys ready? Uh, but I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. Uh -huh. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? He relaxes once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Uh, I take it and turn it in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Jay, why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be sharp. I barely touch it at all. It, it's my it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger into my mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh oh, P please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? No, dude, there's no excuse. There's no she was just trying to help. That's, fuck that's fucking weird. No. We're not, we're not okay with that. It's not okay. It's weird as hell. Oh my god. <sighs> what are you gonna do, though? Uh, but I guess you're gonna help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. 
What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyways. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. <laughs> did, did you really just do that? Now we're even. <laughs> Yuri looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of Jasmo, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Jay. Yuri giggles shyly. I'm weird? You're the blood licker, you freak. She might stick it somewhere. Oh my god, you're so <laughs> <laughs> Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. <laughs> Where do you keep your bandages? Huh. I don't think I need one actually. It was just a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We resume our respective activities. Alright, so that's the weird part. We're done with that. There is the weird part where I leave her and she come and I come back and she's got her uh she's got her sleeve rolled up because she's cutting herself probably or something, because she does that. Alright, this part right here, right? See, watch when I come back she has her sleeve. Taking your advice, I decided to use small rather than that. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips back in there. Yuri, yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. She's a freaking weirdo, dude. Uh, nothing. Your face is just a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. She's in here cutting her arm, dude. She's so weird. Who does that? I don't understand. I'll never get anyone that cuts himself. Like, that's so weird. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to... Alright, the rest of it doesn't matter. Those are the only two things that I think are, are, are notable in this whole uh, encounter, really. Uh, is that she licks the blood off my finger and that she's cutting herself whenever I go to get the water. That's all really weird. Uh... Oh yeah, this part's like their... This, this is their, I guess, their weird encounter, right? Yeah, this is their weird encounter. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck a towel. Ah, is there something wrong? It's hot, I just didn't expect it. Sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to shake my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait, eh? Just for a little longer? She's weird, it feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against her neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. She looks like she has downs in this expression. And you guys think Yuri's the best? Look at her. She literally looks like she's missing a chromosome. You guys are idiots, just saying. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slighted part, slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma giving off a dizzy feeling? Yuri, uh, gently, Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, send a tingling sensation through my arm, and suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. She drugged you? Probably, dude. <laughs> the moment's over as soon as it began. Good, let's get out of here. Let's finish this this task and send you on your way so I can close the game and, and get a uh, better person. All I hear is baby rage. I don't understand. <laughs> um, Alright, Yuri, you suck. No one likes you. I don't want to spend more time together. I walk out the front door. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, just let me know if there's anything else uh, you need me to bring tomorrow. Uh, I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want to come over, or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot you don't like going out that much. As I stumble in my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, Jay. Yuri takes a step close to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well... How am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. <laughs> Sayori! Eh? Sayori, my girl, I'm sorry. Look, you didn't see anything. Nothing even happens, Sayori. Nothing even happens. Let's just wait for... Wait for... Uh, okay, I'll skip. I'm not going to read that part. It's sad. It's too sad. Too sad for you all. Alright, so there. We read this part, and I'm going to close it now, right? Let's see what it says in the guide. The guide says... Um, whoa, 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 hold on. The guide says, again, all right, so the guide says, Sayori will appear as usual. The choices she gives don't matter. Witness Sayori's, oh my god, I have to do that? I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. All right, it's the day of the festival. Of all days, expected the day we're going to school Sayori, but Sayori is answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decides to leave a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event are nearly complete. The banner, Yuri and I, paint is dry. I gently wrote it up, take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Nasuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. Not and Yuri, your girl's about to kill herself, dude. You idiot. Oh my god, you're the first one, yay.
What's the one in Act 3 going to be? Oh, goodness, this is going to suck. This is going to suck. This is going to suck. This is going to be terrible, and I don't want to see it. Uh, I don't want to read her poem. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it. I'm not reading that poem. It's too much for me. I'm not reading it. It's too sad. I know what it's going to be. I leave because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Sayori, she really is a heavy sleeper. A swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't want to have to enter the room like this. I really don't want to enter the room. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. This when things get weird. The game will glitch. Sayori will disappear, and lots of bad things will happen. Everyone goes crazy, and Monica will appear. Mm. All right, so it says I'm just supposed to do what I'm supposed to do, right? Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. An exception has occurred. File this right here. See trace by text for details. You lost your own point? Rip. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. So I wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know it's best and that everything would be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I should have... I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like I've always been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost, lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough and now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. <sighs> End. <laughs> Will, good guy Will giving life blood. <laughs>